Brought to you by the Grand Theater. This month, see the National Arts Center Orchestra. Visit www.kingsandgrand.ca for more details. Hi, I'm Kelly Hunter for Queen's TV Profiles. Today we're here with Sarah Wittiak, a volunteer for Queen's Events, which is a website that posts all academic and social events going on in the Queen's community. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you. For uh, first off, tell us a bit about the website. Well, as you said, queensevents.ca is a website that lists all of the academic and social events on campus. Um, we list stuff like concerts, film screenings, speaker series, bake sales, that kind of stuff. Um, and we try to get equal spread of all ages of 19 plus events. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so the website was posted less than a year ago, and what was the idea that was behind it to create the website? Yeah, so um, when I came back from exchange, I had no idea what was happening on campus. I kept on like missing out on things that sounded really cool. Like in one week I realized I missed out on an astronaut coming to campus, a cross-campus capture the flag game, and one of my favorite bands playing literally a block from my house. So I started thinking about like, well wouldn't it be cool if all of the events at Queens were listed in one place, easy to find? And I was sitting in my bedroom one day in February and I just started the website like listing for myself Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday what's going on. Cause like I find I'm happiest when I'm going out meeting new people and like, you know, actually getting out of my room. And so I started the website in like February and then some friends of mine were like, hey, you should make that open. And so that was March of 2012. And by the end of August, we had 20,000 views all time. And yesterday we just passed 72,000 views. Ah, congratulations. So it's getting really exciting now. Um, so a lot of the time, a lot of Queen's students end up being kind of stuck in this Queen's community bubble when there's so much going on in Kingston. So what does Queen's events do to sort of combat that? Well, like, I never knew about anything going on downtown. And like, I didn't turn of age until halfway through second year. So all I ever heard about were parties and like, keggers and stuff like that. So I actually started to realize when I was looking for events, there's a lot of really cool stuff happening like just within walking distance of campus, like just on the other side of City Park. Like the screening room has indie film screenings like every night of the week. And like the Artel is this really cool arts venue that has just like gallery shows and just, I don't know, just, it's so like all ages concerts, like who knew that those existed? And so I started trying to find out about these events and post them on the website just to give people like an equal balance, just in case like you don't want to go out clubbing or to a kegger. Like there's just stuff going on that you can do on like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night that's just different. You know? mm -hmm. so. Um, so on a day-to-day -day basis, now currently what role do you play with Queen's Events? Well, since I founded it, I realized that it wouldn't really work if I was just doing it alone because I'm one person and there's 20,000 people at Queens. And so I started to like recruit volunteers, my minions, <laughs> and um, they kind of helped me just to like break into different groups. So like we have people from different faculties just like spreading the word and all of our marketing has been word of mouth and like social media stuff like that. So um, my goal this semester is to like actually put up posters, do the chalkboard, like chalk the sidewalk chalk, um, and like kind of get more organizations involved in like adding their events as opposed to just like me looking for events and putting them on the site. Right. Uh, so how can organizers of events use Queen's events to kind of promote themselves? Right. So there's three really easy ways to add events. You can go on our website queensevents.ca slash add like ADD and um, fill in like when and where an event is and like a little description and even a link to the Facebook page and then we'll publish it right there. Um, but if you're like organizing a lot of events or you're in a club or something that like has all kinds of events throughout the year, you don't want to like constantly be manually adding them, you can actually ask us about a backend access pass which lets you like customize your posts, like schedule them in advance, that kind of stuff. So we have like the Engineering Society, like the Grad Club, Queens Athletics, like people who organize like all the time. Um, in our back end. And then the third way is we're on Twitter. And I personally, I love Twitter for <laughs> getting events because people are always like tweeting, oh, this is going on right now, and have you seen this? And like tweeting a pic. And so you can tweet at Events Queens if you either know about something coming up or you see something on campus, or, like a poster or something. 
Um, and that's also like every single time that we publish an event, it goes up there. So even if um, someone knows about an event happening tonight, we can't really put it on the website, we'll tweet about it. So right. if you have Twitter, it's kind of like the best way to know about events going on. Neat. Uh, this has been Queen's TV Profiles with Sarah Wodiak, the founder of Queen's Events. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you so much. Brought to you by the Grand Theatre. This month, see the National Arts Centre Orchestra. Visit www.kingsandgrand.ca for more details.